Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Scandinavian Freckles and if you haven't been here before, my real name is Linda and I make videos on YouTube. So I thought that I would make a video for you guys to get to know me a little bit better and I thought what better idea than to make a 50 facts about me video. So I am going to be making that and if you want to watch it then let's get started. So fact number one is that I am Norwegian but I have lived in Spain since I was seven years old. So when I was seven my parents decided to move to Spain to a little group of islands called the Canary Islands and I've been living here for 17 years this year. Fact number two is that I am obsessed with miniature perfume bottles. I am allergic to chlorine. When I eat pineapple and kiwi, which I love, both of them, I get like really sore lips and I just can't eat it anymore. From April 2012 until um, late November, um, is that right? No, late October 2013, I worked as a flight attendant. My favorite flower is hortensia. I cannot live without greenery. I need green plants and everything green in my life. Even though I live in a tropical island, I hate warm weather. Now I don't know why that is, it's just there's something about it that I don't like and I always, always look forward to winter. Another thing about living in a tr tropical island is that I never go to the beach. I just do not like it. Uh, I have nothing against going to the beach and taking a walk or whatever in, in like the evenings, but going to the beach to like lay on the beach and get sun and whatever, I think I just don't like it. And one of the reasons, which is also a fact, is that if I spend more than two minutes in the sun, I will get sunburned. Hence all my freckles. I am 164.9 centimeters tall and those nine, those are really the deal breaker. When I was a little girl, <laughs> I got one of my friends, well a few of my friends, to try and count my freckles and we gave up after we reached 370 something. I am a true dog person. Now I love all animals, but dogs are my all-time favorites. I love all dogs, no matter how they look, no how matter, it doesn't matter how they are, it's just I love all dogs. I feel my heart breaking whenever I hear someone says, oh my god that's such, such an ugly dog. I just feel like crying because there are no ugly dogs. I have a secret uh, obsession with 90s movies. Um, I don't know where it comes from, it's just, I love it. I love everything about the 90s. I was born in 92 and I didn't really like live in the 90s. Uh, but everything about like movies from the late 80s and the 90s are my all time favorites. I have a phobia that I never really talk about. A lot of people that are really close to me know about this but there's not many people that know about it. Um, I have a phobia with, I do not like it when my feet and my hands touch something that I do not know what is, nor do I like it when they get dirty. So if I'll, for instance, be eating, I cannot eat something where I'm I get something on my hands. That is disgusting. I do not, I don't have anything against other people doing it. I don't, like, I don't care about that. It's my own hands, my own feet. Like, if I step in something that I don't know what is, I will have a full on panic attack. When I like a song, like, like it, um, I will obsess about it for days. Meaning, I will put it on replay for up to five or six days until I cannot hear the song anymore and I think that this is something that a lot of people do but I know that it also annoys a lot of people. When I want to I can be extremely messy and it's nothing that like I like everything organized but sometimes I'm just a messy person. My first true love has always been and he will always be is Beckham, David Beckham. I have a crush on him. I've had it since I was a little girl. 
Um, and I think he gets handsomer the more the older he gets. I have always loved Disney. Everything about Disney makes me feel like a child again. And I don't think that there are anything better than Disney movies. My favorite Disney princess is Ariel. I know by heart uh, the script from Friends, all of the seasons, uh, every episode. I am obsessed with Friends. It's my all-time favorite TV show and I watch it all the time. I have three older brothers and one younger brother. I am an aunt to two beautiful girls and three handsome boys. My all-time favorite food is Indian food. I could never, ever, ever be with someone who smokes. Um, I just, there's something about it, I don't like it. I, this next fact is the fact that you probably already know, but I am obsessed with The Sims. I've loved The Sims since I was like 12, 11 or 12, and I've played it since it's one, and I love it, and I will continue loving it. When I was 17 years old, I cut my hair super super short. I did actually love it at the time. I love it like when I look back at it now. I love it as well. It's just that I don't think that I would go that short again. Now I do have short hair but uh, and I think it's really comfortable to have it this length. Not many people know this next fact and I've always wanted to write a book. Um, just like a story um, and I have tried going on Wattpad and trying that out, but it hasn't really worked out for me. So maybe in the future I will write a book. I am a super emotional person. I will cry all of the time during movies, during, you know, TV shows, it doesn't matter. If I see a sad clip on YouTube, I will cry. If I see something on Facebook that is sweet or cute, I will cry. Um, so yeah, I cry most of the day. When I was 18 years old, for some weird reason, I decided that it would be a great idea to uh, dye my hair. Now, I did like the color, uh, it was a little bit like dark red, kind of, uh, and I did like it. But after that, I never really got my ginger hair back, which is it's really sad. I am a firm believer of comfy clothes. Now, I don't care, like, I when I go out, I obviously wear nice clothes and stuff but when I'm not at home you will always find me either in sweatpants or in leggings and just a t-shirt that is my go-to outfit I love Christmas now I, I know that there are a lot of people out there who do not like Christmas who don't believe in Christmas uh, but Christmas has always been a huge tradition in my house uh, ever since I was a little girl like Christmas has been everything. It's the one time of the year when the entire family gathers and we just, we are just together and I love it. There is nothing about Christmas that I don't like. I love all of it. Now, even though I don't like um, warm weather or, you know, going to the beach, I actually love the ocean. I, I am a real boat person. I like to go on boats. I like to go on, yeah, skis. I like to spend the day just watching the ocean. I love everything about the ocean. My favorite place to go in the world, I have a lot of different places. Like I love Greece, it's one of my favorite uh, vacation spots. But my favorite place to go, just to like go shopping or go sightseeing or whatever, is London. Now, there is no place better for me to be than London. I am so happy when I am there. And it's just amazing, I just love it. This next one is going to be really embarrassing to tell you, um, but I am just going to. So I am extremely embarrassingly bad at math. Um, yeah, I'm really bad at math. My favorite color is blue. It's always been blue. Um, there are some shades of blue that I don't like, that I just don't think are nice. Um, but most blues I like to go. It can be extremely awkward at times and there's nothing I can do about it. I have been told that I am a really good driver and I'm really proud of it. Um, but I do <laughs> suffer from road rage. I always keep my phone on silence and I don't really know why that is. It's just that I like to have it on silence. Uh, I 
get annoyed when I hear the phone ringing or the phone like sounding. So I keep it on silent. This means that I can be extremely bad at getting back to people. Um, and it's not intentional. It's not me being, you know, annoying. It's just sometimes I just forget to get back to people. So if I am supposed to get back to you right now and you're watching this, then I'll get back to you soon. After I was finished uh, school, I started working as a flight attendant, as I told you earlier, and I never really planned on going back to uni, and I just found out that uni wasn't for me. I had a fear of public speaking when um, I was in school, and I failed a lot of exams, a lot of oral exams, because of it. I am horrendously bad at telling a joke. I have always known that I'm not a 9 to 5 kind of person, um, I didn't grow up around it and it's just something that doesn't appeal to me. I want something exciting and something new and adventurous and I want to do something um, and I hope that I never have, really have to do a 9 to 5 job. I can be a really impatient person. Uh, I like things done when they are asked to be done. Or when they're supposed to be done. If there is a movie or a television series that I start watching and in an episode or in a, a moment in the video in the film they hurt an uh, animal, an animal, um, I will never ever watch it again. Never. I read a lot and um, I love it. My biggest dream is to design my dream house and then have it built and then live in it. I love watching horror movies and scary movies and just thrillers and everything scary but I get really 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 freaked out um, to the point where I cannot sleep afterwards. And that was my 50 facts about me video so I really hope that you enjoyed it and I really do hope that you got to know me a little bit better. Um, if there is anything else that you want to know just tweet me. Uh, all of my links are in the description box below. I would love for you to go check them out and let's become friends. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!